some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in the courtroom of Judge Perkins with a sovereign citizen that I've covered before on here, one who thought he had the uh, end-all, be-all of court cases that uh, proved that sovereign, the sovereign citizen calls was a righteous one, but ended up falling flat on his face uh, when Judge Perkins uh, realized what they were. And now he's back to once again show that, uh, well, he, uh, he might just fall flat on his face again. So let's just get into it, shall we? All right. Is, is Clyde there? Yes. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Are you Clyde Lynch? Yes. Did you send me an email? Uh, yeah. It was about the uh, Dearborn situation, but, you know, it, it, it was just something to show, but... This is, this, this, this is... This is this is the the sovereign citizen situation. Well, let me let me see. Let, let, let me see you when you hold on. Turn your camera on. It is on sovereign citizen situation, right? Uh, I don't know what that word means. Well, well, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna say I, I'm not saying that I'm one of them, but I'm just saying I'm. Operating under what the Constitution Supreme Court uh, ruling is talking about. Yeah, I can understand why you don't want to be associated as a sovereign citizen. I mean, considering that the majority of them are uh, head beating, giblet head, uh, dipshit morons who couldn't find their head uh, while playing head, shoulders, knees, and toes uh, back in kindergarten. I'm sorry, that kindergarten that they uh, uh, did that in, that was their last, uh, well, uh, board meeting. I mean, yeah, they couldn't even find their head in the board meeting where they're playing head, shoulders, knees, and toes. What, what is that? What's Supreme Court ruling? <laughs> well, Your Honor, let's just proceed with the case. Um, I know that's what we're doing now. I, I'm not, I don't even want to um, let us proceed because I supposed to receive videos of the uh, court, I mean, of the traffic stops. All right, you have only one uh, video. And when, when, let's see, Lynch's file. No, no, sovereign citizens gonna make me faint. Well, your, your honor, the, when the officer pulled me over and he said that, I didn't say no words. I just told him I'm operating under the Constitution, you know, and that's all else I said to him. And he just basically lied, said I was just run asked for backup. And all that in the video would show I wasn't even um um what he whatever I can't think of the word he said, but he was saying I need backup, I have a I rate or whatever he word he said, and, and that was not even true. All right. Well what I'm gonna say is I can I if the if some video exists, the last time you were here, I know it was set for trial. Because Corporal Bennett appeared and Officer Dunn appeared. I don't see anything here that says anything about requesting video. I sent it to the law department and I believe I sent it to you that day because you gave me the email address and I uh, sent the email let me to check you. My, let me check my email. I sent it to the wrong. I email believe I address. remember you. I remember you saying that. Yeah, I sent it uh, to the wrong email address, and I had to send it. I had to write it correctly. Was this sent to me by mistake? To the I got Dearborn 19 oh, District no. Court stuff. Yeah, I just sent that like a couple of days ago because when I went to go get all my files, the affidavit one page was missing. Not the affidavit, which was the body of the affidavit, and. I haven't heard anything about it until I went up there to check about my paperwork, check on my paperwork, and then they gave me a, a bill. 
So I just walked out the courtroom. I've been trying to find some federal assistance on that because my all my documents gone, CDs, DV, DVDs, all that, all my paperwork, only what they gave me. And I'm like, it's supposed to be another page to this. They say that's all they had. So I got all the recordings of the whole transaction and everything. Well, I you know something, Mr. Lynch. I, I can appreciate you, and I will definitely listen to any kind of argument that you have, and I'm going to make a ruling on it. But at the end of the day, this um, Constitution and stuff argument, I haven't seen it work. I just let you know, and well, the stuff that you gave the stuff that you gave me last time, we had a long conversation about that, and it, and it, and it's just not. Uh, I'm gonna make sure all of the stuff is in this file now. Too. Um, it's just it's just what you're saying is just not um, the state of the law. I don't know any. I, I don't know any other way to say it. Well, to be perfectly honest with you, Judge, uh, there is, well, no other way to put it. I mean, uh, but these Sovtards tend to think that uh, they have something on their plate when uh, whatever it is on their plate just turns out to be nothing more than a bunch of uh, uh, legal gibberish that uh, means absolutely nothing to anybody with a uh, sound mind and uh Good intelligence, I mean, but to them, it's gold. But to everybody else, yeah, it's a turd. But if you have some new stuff, I'd be interested in hearing what you have to say. Well, well, basically, basically what I'm going to say, I'm just going to say, um, we just going to continue with the case and whatever comes about, comes about. If the paperwork, paperwork I give him wasn't irrelevant, it, that, that, that's it then. So what is the next step? So either the next step is take a plea, which I'm sure you don't want to do, but I'll, 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 I'll give you the offer or take it to trial. And, uh, that's, well, those are the next steps. Well, I guess we're going to have to go to trial. I'm going to set it for a jury trial, too, so you can bring this in front of a, 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 a jury of your peers and, 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 and see, you know, what they say. And I, I guess my, my you don't want a lawyer, right? The, the other cases that I had got dismissed for the same situation. So say what? The other cases I had for this was, was dismissed, and you told me to give you one name of one person, and I could have said it then and there, it was myself. I had court cases for the same thing, and it was dismissed on whatever circumstances that happened, it was dismissed. A soft heart, uh, a dismissal is not exactly a victory. You were not acquitted, you were not convicted, or anything of that matter. A dismissal uh, basically means they didn't have the time to... Uh, well, look it over or anything like that. They had better things to do, so, well, should the need arise, they can reopen the case. That, that's all that means. So can you please provide an actual circumstance where a Sovtard actually won their case and not got it dismissed because, well, people were too damn busy for it? And what do you mean by that? For the same driver. Let's, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's call it. Let's call it and put it all on the record. I have my court reporter back. Let's call it and put it on the record. All right. This is the city of Detroit versus Clyde Darnell Lynch. Case numbers. How you doing? SP one five three seven nine four zero counts one and counts two. SP 1554736 counts one and counts two. SP 1558135 counts two and counts three. SP 1590696 counts one and counts two. Mr. <laughs> Lynch, uh, state your name for the record, please. Clyde Lynch. 
All right. So, Mr. Lynch, let me ask you this. And this is just, just to understand, try to really get a grasp of your position. I understand you're, you're, you're why don't you, if you're, if you're not a sovereign citizen, usually sovereign citizens tell me, I don't want to, I don't want a lawyer. If you're not claiming the sovereign citizenship, why don't you get a lawyer to help you out with this? I can't never find no attorney. The last attorney I got, uh, they was telling me you should have just took a deal. You should have paid the ticket, and you really can't find nobody who's going to take your case. So, basically, I'm in limbo, and basically, all, all I have to say, not guilty with impunity. <laughs> let's let's say this. I I, I guess if you're I'm not, not a national, to... so I'm not a national, so I can't say that. All I'm saying, I'm just a citizen, and all I'm going to say, not guilty with impunity. Well, how are you in? How 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 are you impugned to this? Because I mean, let's just do this. You don't have to. Uh, I have a. You don't have to. You don't have to. Um, Tell me how you're going to proceed with your case. You, you, you're fully in the right to proceed however you want to proceed. I'm going to just give you a jury trial, and it, you'll have to present what you need to present in front of a jury. Uh, will, you, will you allow me to assign a lawyer to you just for the purposes of you know, helping you out with the courtroom procedure and stuff. You you can do that. Well, the soft heart ended up going into a breakout room with a, a an actual lawyer, but uh, well, it, it turned out that uh, the lawyer wasn't exactly on his side either. I mean, yeah, like you said, uh, no lawyer wants to take a him on for this case, so there was a really nothing that lawyer could do, but let's go ahead and see if there's another lawyer that will be able to help this idiot out. On Lynch, we just sent a request for a different attorney. Um, it, it was his request, and I, I understood his request, so we're just hoping for a different attorney. But I do not think, I think if I'm understanding our conversation, he does not want a jury trial. Mr. Lynch, was that correct? No, I'm going to give him a jury trial because, listen, he's already filed. Where's Mr. Lynch? Right here. All right. Let's go back on the record with Mr. Uh, with Mr. Uh, Fly, Darnell Lynch. Um, Mr. Lynch, turn your camera on. Uh, oh, that's why I was trying to figure out. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a prompt. Okay, hold on. Here you go. So he's already filed a lot of a lot of things with him. and we've had a long discussion about uh, what he's filed and um, the legalities of it. I don't find a, I don't find anything that he's filed that has any merit. So that's why I'm giving you a jury trial because if you if you bring the same stuff in a trial, if, if it's the same as what you're giving me and, and the stuff that you're professing, based on what I see, you're going to lose. So By me. If, if the judge is saying the information is not valid and the people don't know nothing, so why won't I put my hands in, in, in the hands of the people? Well, you lead paint chip eating moron. It's like this. The judge knows the law, knows how things actually work. And so, therefore, he would already be ruling against you in this particular case. So, you might want to yeah, go ahead and have a jury trial. That way, you might get a chance of uh, actually winning the case. But I really doubt that uh, your uh, well, ill-prepared... Uh, arguments and uh, case laws that have no relevance to this situation would work with them anyway. Because, first of, all, saying, first of all, what I'm telling that. you is what I'm telling you is I'm trying to give you 
a fighting chance with these arguments that you're making. You're not, what I'm telling you is you're not going to have a fighting chance with me. You're going to lose if you, unless you come with something substantially different than what you have. At least, at least with the people, you, you said it yourself. They don't know the law or they might not even know the law. So they, you may be able to get them to side with you just because they love Mr. Lynch and they, and they want it. They want it. I, I don't know. But uh, other than that. No jury. I really don't know people, jury. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even gonna, gonna do that. So if I if I found guilty, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to sue every person that that was a juror. I don't know what you're gonna have to do. I, I don't know, Mr. Lynch. You're you're the one that's making these arguments up, and you're the one that has researched and done what you've done. You provided that stuff to me, so. You're expected to know the law. You're expected to know the law. So whether you can sue jurors and whether you can sue whoever, that's going to be on you to know. And if you or or if you don't know, that's going to be on you to find out. Yeah. Good luck with suing a juror, considering they are only doing their duty uh, as uh, American citizens to serve on that uh, jury to begin with. They're not liable for the. Uh, well, decisions that they make at that trial, you are held responsible, not them. Okay, so well, well, I have to get back with the law department about the videos and the dash cam of the police officers. That now that I can, I can, um, Mister Mister Bowman, can you put your appearance on the record, please? Honor Mister Bowman. For the people, P three three seven six four. All right, now, Mr. Lynch. Now I can I can potentially help you if the stuff exists. Mr. Lynch is asking for body cam and 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 whatever discovery that body cam, audio, video, whatever discovery that the people have in relates to his matter. Your Honor, I understand that, and uh, discovery will be provided if he files a valid request pursuant to the court rule for discovery. So you said I've done that previously. I don't see the Hold on, hold on, hold on, Mr. Lynch. Your, Your Honor, if I'm not mistaken, the court rule just says upon request. He's made his request today. I don't think that there's anything in the court rule that requires anything other than him making a request. Mr. Lynch has made his request for discovery, and I believe it's supposed to be provided to him. Court rule provides for a written request, I, I, and, 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 you, that, and, and, that, and that has not happened. All right, let's, uh, let's say discovery, uh, rule six point. We're going to know this discovery rule, and you got it right. Fo hey, fo forward and backwards. <laughs> yeah, you need to get this book. You need to get this book, Mr. Lynch. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, if it's not written in crayon, the uh, soft heart is not going to be able to understand a single word of it because, well, uh, kindergarten writing is uh, all he can understand. And, uh, well... Yeah, that's why uh, you can't make it uh, work with a lawyer because they're just on two different planes of existence. One's a grown-ass adult. The other one, well, never became an adult to begin with. But you know what? I'm just going to end it right here because they spend the next several minutes uh, discussing the uh, date of the court uh, hearing and everything like that. So, yeah, it's going to be set for next month anyway. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley.
You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?